Well, looking at the film uh, really kind of substantiated that was a really uh, all-around tough effort uh, last night. Guys played really hard across the board and, and uh, got really good physical play. Special teams and defense played solid all night long. And once we got on track, the uh, offense was, was, uh, became really effective and, and did all the things that, that really helped us. The third down conversions that we always talk about was a huge factor. And, and uh, um, being able to run the football, a huge factor, and let us really play football the way we like to. So it was a good ball game and uh, took a while. But, uh, you know, it got done, so uh, it was really fun to see. And I really, well, the best part about it was our guys that hadn't been around us got to feel what the energy is like at the stadium and, and how we can play there and, and, and uh, kind of what we've been talking about to them. And so uh, hopefully we can build on this. We've got a really good matchup coming up. I know you're not ready to start on that one yet, but our focus has already gone to the matchup, and uh, it's going to be a good, good division ball game coming up too. You talk about complementary football. Maybe it's obvious, but how much difference does it make when when the offense can help the defense and vice versa? Whatever, and special teams. Is well, you can see it them. just it, it just built on each other. You know, the the energy was so high. You know, as we got going, and and it just they fed off each other. You know, everything everything started to click and go, and the pass rush was on fire, and and uh, the pro you could see the problems that were occurring. You know, they couldn't get the ball off and all that. And uh, the third down wins really add to it, you know, and really on both sides. But defense comes running right back off the field, you know, and sets the offense back out there. There's, there's just really good momentum about that and, and uh, tempo about it in the game. It was really fun to see. How's Cliff Avery doing? Uh, Cliff's, uh, Cliff's got had, you know, serious stingers in, in, in the game, and, and uh, it's going to be a while for us to figure out what he's got. We're going to take time to make sure we got him, you know, clear and figured out, and and. Uh, um, there's going to be some tests and stuff like that. So I don't have any timeline on that at all. But uh, we're, we're going to take care of him and, and make sure that we take our time and do this really well um, to, you know, to look after him. Is it down the spine or in the neck only? Or? Well, that's kind of, yes, it is. Yeah, he got, you know, got hit under the chin and knocked back. And, and it, it, it's, that's, those results are affected by what's going on in your spine. You brought yeah. back Quinn Jefferson, obviously, then to kind of help fill the depth in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll he'll really take Chris Chris's spot on the roster. Chris is going to get operated on tomorrow. Um, it's a very, uh, it's, it's the surgery that applies to a, high, a really serious high ankle uh, sprain, and uh, he has does have a little fracture, but that's not the issue. Um, and so uh, he, you know he'll be in kind of in the same, similar to what Thomas had. Um, a while back, somebody asked that last night, but it, it is that similar to that. So does he have any chance to return this season? Yes, he does. There's a, there's an outside chance. What, with Carson's leg, did you say it was a, a fibula that the the fracture was? Uh, I don't know that. I don't know that. Sorry. How about Reese Odiambo? What's his status? Um, he's been released from the hospital. They took a good look at him. He does not have a bruised heart. Which is out there, and that whatever somebody made that up, that doesn't isn't what he has. Um, uh, he's got a bruised sternum, and, um, and and he he's fine in all all ways and all that. We'll see what that means. Not sure what that means for the week, um, but um, you know it's nothing beyond that. You know, on offense, there's at least five guys had at least three catches. What does that say about your passing when the ball distribution is like that on offense? Yeah, we like it like that. Um, you know, really glad uh, to see Amar get a couple balls in there, and and uh, you know, Russ doesn't he doesn't care who he throws it to. You know, the the ball goes to to uh, Doug a lot and Jimmy a lot, and that that's just kind of that just happens. But it's great when we move it around, when everybody contributes, and and, uh, and Paul continues to do a really nice job. Tyler's doing a really nice job, and we've got a really versatile group, and you know, we're fired up about that. If Reese can't go, who would step in for him? No, I have to wait and see. The Carson fracture that'll heal on its own. No, you don't need to address that surgery. Yes. <coughs> Sounded like I know. How about Jeremy Lane? Uh, he has a uh, groin pull uh, that we need to see how severe that is and what that means for the week. I don't know. It was enough to keep him out of the game, so um, there'll be some concern about that. I thought what was really uh, what was really good was the, the play of Shaq, you know, jumping up and playing corner, and, and also Justin Coleman coming in at nickel. He did a really good job there, and uh, that gave us a chance to play really good defense with those guys up. So uh, if if Jeremy can't go, then those guys will step in. 
just kind of continuing on that thought, Coach, even you, though you're missing these key players, how confident are you and the guys who can step up and replace them? Yeah, we have always pretty much had the mentality that the next guy's going to do all right, and we never really worried about that. And I, I, I think the indication is to show you why, and that here we are again. Um, so um, we'll count on those guys to, to, to do a nice job, whether they're coming off the bench or starting. And, and we do have good depth, and we have had a roster that we've been, uh, you know, felt strongly about for some time now. And it, I think that kind of shows. Right, right now, that we're so fortunate that if Chris has to sit out for a while, that Thomas Rawls gets to step up. You know, that's a, that's a, just good fortune and good good planning and all of that. And Thomas is really raring to go, and, and uh, we're excited to get him to play. We love the way he plays, um, and so uh, he'll you know he'll get more obviously more attention coming up this week. With Tobin in battle, both of those guys had to come in midstream for you. How have they kind of? got up to speed, and how are they fitting in with your group now? Yeah, good question. Uh, Matt has really done a great job in pressing th that he can do so many things. He can play both sides, play both guards, both tackle spots. He's played the big tight end spot for us. Um, you know, just his experience has really shown, um, and, and that gives us tremendous flexibility, which really helps. He and Postic have, you know, they're really important to us because of that flexibility. Um, Isaiah Battle has um, been very impressive. He, he is a, a tremendous looking young kid now, and he, he's got a chance to be a really good player. Um, he's got. A, he's grown with us, you know. Less, not as experienced, and so he has to learn uh, a little bit more of our, our stuff and our style and all that. But uh, he he shows very very well in practice, and, and he's a little bit like JD McKissick has shown us. You know, you you can see why this guy could play, and and so we'll see how he does and see what happens during the weeks ahead here. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he does wind up playing sometime and, and does a really nice job for us. Sounds like you expect CJ Procise can maybe come back this week as well. Well, that was that's my my look at it. You know, I I looked at him in pregame. I was all fired up. I said, "Come on, let's go. Let's go put your stuff on." You know, and and uh, so he's close enough to show that well. Um, Nico will be trying to get back to this week. You know, we'll see how they go. But just judging from that workout, I would be really surprised if he's not right in the thick of things to play this weekend. You mentioned J.D. McKissick. How happy are you with the way he showed, and how much more of a role can he work into now? Yeah, we're really fired up about that, and it's just he's just kind of a favorite around here, and because he's just worked so hard. What jumps off the film is how hard he, he uh, covered kickoffs, and, and you know the effort to lead the kickoff team down the field, on most of the most of the attempts yesterday, um, as well as even after his second touchdown, he's the first guy down again. You know, so um, he's just a ball player. Uh, he's got, uh, you know. Tremendous versatility, um, and uh, we're really excited to see him. You know, show something in the running game. He got a couple big runs. He got smacked a couple times too, um, but he, he's got a, uh, a change of pace for us that really was obvious. And we've seen it, and we just need to put him on the field and give him a chance. And uh, he's played in CJ's role, so um, you know we'll we'll just continue to to grow with that one, see how that goes, and let the competition play out. What did you when you guys signed Marcus Smith? What did you sort of see in him that made you think he could? Well, he, he, Marcus is, was is a really versatile athlete. You know, he's he's got good size and he's fast. He's you know four six guy and and uh, uh, he, he's real coordinated. He can do a lot of stuff. He can he can cover. He can come off the edge. Um, he, he's I think we were most tuned into him being a Leo in our system. You know, and and I thought you know it reminded me a lot of Clem. You know, when coming up, um, uh, Chris Clemens and. Uh, so uh, when he, he got a legitimate shot yesterday with a lot of play time and, and was a factor and made a huge play in the game and um, you know feel very fortunate to have him. He does play, he can back up at Sam and he's, and he's working at the Leo spot uh, in the rotation. So um, you know that, that he and Frank will man that spot if, if uh, Cliff isn't able to go and we feel pretty good about that. We're very fortunate. He's a talented player and, and he's, you know, he's really coming into the system now and comfortable with what we're doing. and, and uh, uh, really excited to see that emergence. Big picture, quarter way through the year. Just how do you kind of feel about where you guys are? Well, at? I like where we jumped here this last week. You know, we've we've been uh, we've been close to doing a lot of good stuff. It just hasn't really it hasn't clicked like we like. And, and, and honestly, we you know we didn't have a great first half. Uh, you know, on offense yesterday, um, even though Russell came out firing, and, you know, it was eight for nine to get it started, and he, he had a good start for himself. Uh, we didn't make much happen with the score and. Uh, and, you know, we lose a whole – you look at the time of possession, where you give up a whole possession when you score like that on defense. But um, still, we could get started better. But um, I think we're ready to move move on. I really think we can keep going. And, and I think our guys have really captured what we're after in terms of the formula of it. And, and 
uh, it, it always comes back to the running game and converting on third downs for the offense and playing good run defense and staying on top on defense. And, and uh, what was great was the pass rush was really alive. We finally got to see what it's like to be ahead. You know, we haven't had a score that really got out in front, you know, like we like you need to to really get all that cranking. And and uh, so a lot of great things that we've learned in in the first quarter. And uh, you know, we're playing a very important game for our division. You know. Positioning right now, which doesn't mean anything at this time of the year, but um, it's we know where we are. It seemed like that was the best game you've had up front on the offensive line too. What did you see from that group as a well? whole? Yeah, they're just getting better. They continue to do better. I mean, you know, we projected that they would, and thought it looks, you can see it happening. Um, you know, the rush almost 200 yards in a game in the NFL is pretty big, and and. Uh, uh, you know, we did some good stuff up there in pass protection as well. So we're just improving. They're, they're just fitting together better. And hopefully we can keep that group together and keep them uh, growing. How, uh, Thomas obviously was inactive yesterday. And he, he had played a little bit a couple of weeks ago. But then, I, I mean, what is, I guess, how has he handled that? He's, what is, he's handling it and, and uh, admirably. But uh, he's, he's frustrated because he wants to play. And uh, like I tell you always, I wouldn't want it any other way. You know, he wants to go. So he gets to, you know. And, and uh you know, we it's looked like you know we had a numbers of guys there at the running back spots. He's you know how are we going to handle this? And it was uncomfortable to not have Eddie up and to not have Thomas up because those guys are ballers and they need to be playing. Um, but you know here it is, and now they're they'll be going you know side by side and battling it. I, I really liked what Eddie did yesterday. I thought it looked great. Um, made you know maxed out his his opportunities and and uh, looks like it's going to be a real nice fit for us. And we're excited about that. What helped improve uh, Russell's efficiency? Uh, I think that uh, I think Russ just was really um, in the right frame, and really the best frame of mind going into the game. He's played great in every game at some some point of it, portion of it, basically after the game got started. Didn't start as well as we like, but I, I think he's just trying so darn hard to do so well. He was trying to be too perfect, and uh, he he just got really comfortable. He was really comfortable in pregame and how he was going in. He prepared during the week uh, to be be clear and and uh, not be. Trying to do too much, you know, with the first series, the second series, and all that, and he did. He did great, and and uh, so when we needed it to happen, he was there for us, and he was on it, and made some huge plays, some great scrambles, uh, good runs, good decisions. Uh, some saw a couple things just beautifully, and fixed calls to uh, to get us in good position to make plays, and he played a terrific football game. How would you assess Jimmy Graham's first four games for you so far this season? Um, I. Th I I think he's he's in in the midst of going. I mean, he make, he's making big plays for us. You know, the ball got away last you know in that one play yesterday that he you know he'll make that catch on. But other than that, I think he's there for us. We haven't always you know used him well or hit him right. You know, we missed him down the goal line a couple weeks ago and and um, a couple opportunities we had to get him down in the red zone. But I think he's doing fine. He's ready to go. What kind of feat was it for Reese Odiambo to play all the snaps? Yeah, more than we realized. You know. Um, you know, he he just sucked it up. I mean, he was having trouble breathing. You know, and and uh, uh, he just sucked it up, and and it kind of caught up with him after the game when he when he started to calm down. You know, all the adrenaline wasn't pumping and all. But it was a, a really good effort by him to to hang tough and and and, and uh, you know play a football game like that. He played he played pretty good. He had some some problems, you know, as everybody does. But he played a pretty good football game, in particularly under the circumstances. Russell said afterwards, you know, he could see him in the huddle that he was struggling and didn't know what it was all about. You know. Um, but he was just struggling just to catch his breath, you know, and, and so uh, it was it was gallant. It was a great effort. Do you have any issues with the hit that leveled him? On that? Uh, we'll turn it in. We'll turn it in. See what the league says. You know. What was that experience like for you and the team in the locker room? That scary scene with Reese. Uh, th there was you talk about with, with Reese, right? There was such a fantastic group of, of uh, the guys around him. They were in absolute control. Um, I mean, you, it was just impressive to watch those guys work and communicate and look after him and, and you know, the way that they were uh, um, helping him through it and reinforcing him and, and communicating. There was a, I mean, I don't know, the, I heard that these guys were supposed to be really good. Man, they were on it. And so I was sitting right next to Reese, right, you know, right at the top of the, uh, the whole thing that was going on there. And, and uh, Justin Britt was with me right there, and coaches were around. And just to watch those guys work, it was fantastic. And you know, they took great care of him. And, and uh, that's a big man to move, you know. And, and uh, so that yeah, was very impressive. We're very fortunate to have that group. And I don't know, you know, where the, if those guys are stadium guys or where they come from, but they were first rate, man. Aside from the interception, what all did you see from Coleman? 
Uh, he continues to play really good coverage. Now, he's really improved in his own stuff. You know, he wasn't a big zone guy coming in, uh, so we had to teach him our stuff. And, and uh, he's flying around and covering that like he did on the, the touchdown play he made. It was that was own, and he did a great job of, uh, you know, disguising the coverage, making his movement, and breaking on the ball and making the play and converting and all that. But he's, uh, he's got great feet. He has really good feet, and he can cover guys and stay with guys and, and uh, really good crossover on the corner out down down that was thrown in the end zone. Uh, he, he's just got good feel. We're very fortunate to have him. That was a great pickup. Uh, Mike Bennett didn't have any tackles. Was there anything going on with his player? Oh, awesome. he played terrific. No, Mike played really well. The other guys got there first. There was a lot of inside runs, uh, you know, a lot of cutback stuff that went away from him, but um, he played really well. The front the front group played terrific technique in this game. We're, they've been doing it uh, with a couple of busts that got us over the last couple of weeks, but you can see it coming. We're just um, we're really in the meeting. I was talking about the defensive tackles. I thought Sheldon and Jaron played really, really good technique up front and were really consistent where the running game was all coming back to them all day long, and they really had to be stout. They were there uh, throughout. And then when Naj jumped in, he did a nice job too. And and Gar uh, Garrison did well. So we had a really good play up front that led to the, the consistency in the running game. Was that, the one scramble was the big play of the day, and I think they had like an eight or nine yard run other than that, uh, whatever it was. I mean, there was one other one, but that was a really good job by the guys. And, and uh, so Mike was just part of it. You know, he was a complimentary part of the game. He just didn't have a chance making plays. You talked on the radio about feeling the running game. What, what do you mean by that, feeling the running game? Uh, the, the, the factor of it. You know, the, um, there's a whole sense when you're running the football. Uh, the there's a, a kind of an energy about it that that you can play off of and but there's also the fact that you run the football and, and it allows you to to work all the passing game stuff that comes off it which we love to do and uh, when it's when it's working um, there, there's a there's a sense that you have of it and then you you know it plays right to our style was that the first time you really felt it like that no no we know we know we've run about at times pretty well so but that was the best um well, I I was asked at halftime, and I, I um, and I told Michelle that's you know that was the one thing I said I thought we needed to be different. We need to feel the running game better, and and and, and you can see what the difference is when it, when it's part of. It. We rushed for almost 160 yards in the second half, you know, so it's it's just kind of what we're accustomed to, and it's how we're kind of geared, and um, it just complements the rest of the style of play. What did you feel was coming together well on the offensive line last night? Well, we were. Um, you know, I thought we were protecting Russell well, and, and he was moving when he needed to, and making things happen. And um, you know, we I, I thought the first couple runs weren't, weren't great, but after we got going, I think things were fine. Um, and really, it's, it's really consistency right now is what we're looking for. You know, and, and 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 that that sense that we can count on you know the guys to make their blocks and to make their calls and and give us the chance and and, and make the, the same adjustments in the passing game. They're they're just doing better just because they played together longer. It's taken us a month really to get to this point, and and we have improvement ahead of us too. We're, we got a chance to get better. With Chris's injury and George in the preseason, we've seen the entire team, you know, bench empty to go out to the field to see those guys. What does that kind of tell you about the group you have? Yeah, there's been um, there's been a number of demonstrations of that. You know, uh, when Jordan got hurt in, in uh, preseason, you know, guys just responded. There's just there's a very deep, heartfelt connection and the willingness to demonstrate that to each other. You know, and then there. Um, uh, and it's it hasn't been something we talked about doing. It's not like we're trying to demonstrate that. Just that's just what's naturally coming out of these guys in response to their teammates. Um, so you know, it's, it's it's a good good part of our team. Did Doug make it through the game okay? Yeah, he did. He came out. He came out okay. Um, Fortunately, and we, we eliminated his plays some. He didn't play as much as he's been playing to just take care of him. He did really well when he had his chances, and he came out fine. So uh, that's a real positive going forward. Anything else? Okay. Thank you.